Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Spirit Fair. We are going to meet our new passenger today, and I'm very excited. So let's go ahead and just kick it off. All right, all right. I know I can do it. Sure, it might tinkle a bit, but, well, what if it hurts? Ah, uh, you're here. Good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Okay, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyways? Oh my gosh, she's kind of minkus looking, actually. <laughs> ha! I did it! I didn't even faint. It actually feels alright. Who knew? Well then, let's get started. What? Oh, but of course, part of my enthusiasm. I forgot to introduce myself. How forgetful and impolite. I'm Gustav. And I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've already met each other. Anyway, I'm glad to, that our paths have crossed on this island, and I know that together we will accomplish great things. This world is part of... This world is part wonderful and disgusting, and so is art. Truly so, the gods have struck us with grand inspiration, and it's our solemn duty to elevate souls with beauty and awe. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put my I will put together the greatest exhibit of my life, and you will help me. Oh, how grandiose it will be. Ah, but first, payment! I've been called a lot of things, but never a cheapskate. Nice. So this means, I think... Oh, excuse me, Atul, what seems to be your problem? Oh, hungry. Okay, I was like... A tool? Do we need to have a discussion about you disliking Gustav? Yeah. Oh, you're fine now. Right. So, let's do some chores while everybody goes to sleep. Except for Gustav. He's going to be an interesting addition to the team. He's only the second boy, which is kind of interesting, but I'm... You know what? I'm about it. I like pretty much everyone so far. Astrid, I'm kind of hit or miss on. I think she's fine, but like, I'm not like that excited about Astrid. Everybody else, I'm like, you are Gucci with me. Um, I don't know what to do. Let's, I want to try cooking one of these lobsters. I wish I could see where we should be going, but you can't even look at the map when it's nighttime. You know what, let's just go to bed. Like, I don't really have anything to do, so we'll just go to bed and make it daytime, and then in the morning we'll figure out where we're going and what we're doing and whose request we're finishing. Hi. What are you doing? I love my outfit. Alright, um, where should we go? Oh yeah, we were gonna go check out this. So I wanna see what's going on with this. And especially now that we have both Gustav and Alice, I feel like it's gotta be one of theirs, right? That makes sense. Oh, wait. What are we doing? It's not chores time. I will go take this out, because it literally takes like, wait one second. Ah, lobster germinal. What the fuck? This lobster terminal. Regular and fine dining. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright, who's whose turn is it? Oh, it's you. Okay, Alice. Good to know. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? Of course, so many children are bound to leave you exhausted. Maybe we could play with them a bit and let you rest. What do you think, Stella? Sure. Wonderful. Oh, we'll have so much fun. I can't... I can't see. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello, can I help you? Alright, thank you. I used to play this game with my grandchildren all the time. Just catch them and bring them back to their mommy. Alright. Oh god. You only have one at a time. They're so fast. Get over here.
Ta da! We did it. How many clips did we get out of that? Not that many. But we did get some nebula fiber, which is pretty awesome. I've needed that for a while. Oh, cabbage. Alright. Good morning. I think. Alright, so now we can move on from this place. I was like, why is it so dark? It's like daytime. Um, let's go down here because, uh, why not? Although maybe I should be doing requests. Okay, so this I can't do right now. I don't know where to get chicken. I could probably do this now. I don't know where Loneberg is and I still can't do this, so actually it doesn't matter. Let's see if we can build an orchard now though. Yeah, nebula thread, cool. Alright, let's do that then. Gustav, wait a gosh dang second, okay? Uh. Oh yeah, only added one, that's why. Let's do this. Stella, the boat looks delightful, but this prow, what a waste of space. Really, you should consider brightening it up with a figurehead. I'm sure any decent shipwright could help you with that. I am sure that they could. Before we start working on the exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now bear with me. Is the boat equipped with some sort of woodworking facility, such as a sawmill? It would have numerous structural ac applications. Yes? How convenient! A loom would also allow us to make clothing and canvas. Is there a one aboard? Fantastic! A foundry with metalworking tools also has a number of applications. Is there anything that could fit the bill? There is! A fully functioning foundry? You've got quite a well-furnished ship, Stella. And finally, the cornerstone of any curator's work, a mailbox. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. You've built a mailbox already? Fantastic! Well, it seems a couple of items are left unchecked. I'll get- I'll let you get to it. Okay, so I think I need to build a figurehead, is that what he wants? Improve the boat with a figurehead. Is that... I don't know. I think maybe this... Would be the figurehead? I don't know that for sure, but... I have something for you. Oh, okay. Here's still. I baked something for the whole crew. I'll let you distribute it. What? Thank you for the apple pie and the rice pudding, friend. Oh my gosh, this place is sick. Alright. Um, wait. Before I go. This thing is kind of big. How about over here? Stella, you've built an orchard and it looks almost exactly like the one my husband built. Have you seen all the fine details? Yes, he was quite the work worker, at least until his hands gave up on him. We planted our first apple tree along with the birth of our first daughter. You should plant a tree for yourself. Of course, it'll take some time before it can bear fruit, but once grown, it makes you feel so proud and accompanies your whole you your whole life. Oh, listen to me rambling again. I'll get out of your things now. Alright, let's plant cherry tree. And an apple tree. It's pretty baller. You can only have two trees in here. Right. I feel like something else came up. A tool. Listen, buddy. I know that you want fried chicken. I have not forgotten that you want fried chicken. Also, hang on. I gotta feed my sheep before he eats something. Please don't eat anything on the boat, thank you. Probably feed the other one too. Oops, Stella. Hey, get me out of here. What do you want? Oh, you're hungry. 
What do you like to eat? Probably fine dining. Thank you, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. Oh, well, apparently not. You can be hugged too. Oh, nice. I do not mind a caring moment now and then. <laughs> Alright, let's go ashore and see what's popping on the shore. Excuse me. That's very loud. Hello, what do you have here? Listen, there's no trouble. I heard what you and your friend did to my colleague. I don't need the stress. Selling goods is a hard profession. My prices will always reflect your brand loyalty towards Raccoon Inc. Alright. Um, I really want any of this. So, hi. Hi, you're being loud. I'm trying to record. No. I like getting some sun here. It's peaceful. Sometimes it isn't. Especially when people love to jump on this umbrella. They jump up and down. Up and down. They love to bounce on the thing. It drives me out of my skin. Nothing else I can do but complain, I suppose. Alright. So that's how you get up there, then. I'm gonna need some sort of, uh... <laughs> Stop that. What are you doing? You're ruining this very pleasant day. Stop that bouncing right this instant. Can't just come here and bounce like some kind of overexcited youth. You're stressing me out. You need to calm down. Here's some free advice. You'll never be able to get up there. I see people with better legs than you try. Fine. If you really want to, you'll need two things. First up, a good attitude. That just applies to the life in general. Everything is in the attitude. Then you need to visualize bouncing higher. Or, I don't know, learn a new skill. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You'll learn how to bounce someday. I just know- Hi. Hi. How can I help you? I just know that you can't get up there without a combination of things. A calm, cool attitude and more leg power. Now stop it. It's just a simple person who doesn't like it when- I'm just a simple person who doesn't like it when people jump on my umbrella. You're blocking- Listen. You're blocking the microphone. Beep beep. Thank you. You're also blocking my ability to see anything. Hi. Don't rub on the microphone, please. Okay, I'm gonna- listen. I'm gonna put you down in a minute if you don't- okay. You're misbehaving. Alright, we're doing a blind speedrun of Spiritfarer now because I can't fucking see anything. Okay. Um... You more slate. Alright, well, I don't really wanna mess with that right now. Let's go somewhere else. What is this? Crescendo Meadows? What is this? What is this? North Sea Pier? Interesting. Oh, that's Lonebrook all the way up there. <gasps> they have glass! Okay. Well, maybe we should go back over here. Feels feel silly, because it just came over here, but, um, actually, here, let's just go here. We'll go dink, 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 dink. <laughs> oh god, that's not great, but you know what? It's fine. Maybe it over here? It doesn't say new next to it. Is this the quarry place? The mine? Yeah. Okay. I know it's daytime, we're doing chores during the daytime, but we're driving, so I think it's fine. Let's just use these up, honestly. Kind of. Not quite, but close. What are you doing now? I'm making a ruckus over there.
Let's plant some cabbage. Yeah. And leak, sure. Where's Astrid? You just chilling in your house today? Mm -hmm. uh, you already ate this last time, I think. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Astrid, your house is kind of ugly, friend. I don't know what to tell you, but... Mm -hmm. What's going on? Oh, okay. Interesting. Are we going through one of the nebula places? No. Hey, what's up with you? What's going on? Oh, okay. This is weird. I've never had them say that before. Maybe that's just like their generic thing for if they don't have anything to say. It's just weird that it tells me that they have like something to talk about, but then they don't actually, so I don't know. Let's see. I think we can do one of the tools improvements now. Oh no. We need aluminum. Need two glass for this. And I need glass for this as well. So I need four total glass. trees. Oops. Are we technically here? I think we might be, because I don't think it's... Um... Oh, okay, that was us breaking through the ice. I was like... What the frick? We can make cotton? Let's get rid of these two. It's snowing. Just water all these while we're here. I'll probably sleep today just because I don't really have anything left to do. Um, now that uh, I kind of already did everything. pretty close to where we're trying to go, and I have a lot of things I'm trying to do tomorrow, so I'd like to get a head start on them by going to sleep and getting to our destination. Golly. Listening to the spirits sleep, like, makes me sleepy. <laughs> you can, like, hear them snoring and stuff, and I'm like, start going to sleep. gracious. Alright, wake everybody up. Gustav, what's going on? Buddy old pal, what do you got going? Now that our preparatory work is fully complete, I think it's time to start working on some proper in infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would require a dedicated space to protect the more fragile pieces from the elements. But it also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably, as well as a waiting area, a front desk, some storage, maybe even a gift shop. Oh, we might manage without one. What? A bit much? On the contrary, Stella, I assure you that all of these are perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realize that space might be an issue. That's why I have thought through a multi-purpose area that will do wonderfully. Let's get to it then, grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is a paradoxical space, for it has both houses, works of art, and is one. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature.
What just happened? And that is one of the many ways that the Haas School of Chicago integrated Etruscan architecture into its ideas. Oh, I think it was like showing how long he talked to me. Alright, have you got all that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. Do you need me to repeat? No. Oh. <laughs> well, if you insist, I'll let you get to it then. <laughs> That's funny. I was like, what just happened? But I think it's like, it was making a joke about how long he talked. What's that? Oh, sunflower seeds? And metal rod or something? Clean up the side of our boat a bit. Alright, let's get going. Let's go here, because apparently I have something to do with Susan, and I don't really know what. That is not what I wanted to do. Let me out. I found something you might like, perhaps. Here's a gift from my collection. I hope you appreciate the value of such oddities. Oh, yeah, thank you. I do, actually. Little one. Would you happen to have anything to eat? I'm somewhat hungry, you know. Yep. I got you. Don't you even trip. Look. You can even have this that you made for me. Oh, thank you. I was getting quite hungry. There you go. Are you ready for a hug? Yes, you are. It. You're so cute. Alice is my new favorite. She has to stay forever. Everyone else... I mean, I'll still be sad, but... Alice is never leaving. She's stuck here forever. Hello, Susan. I saw you had a quest for me. What would you like? What do you want? Get on with it already. Apparently I have something I can turn in. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Halfway there, find our bright rocks. You might really love the way they look. Mm -hmm. You are amused by such mortal things and figures. Well, I'm not keeping you. Mm -hmm. Go. Oh, I think it's because we didn't... Oh, okay, because there's one at 1, 2, and 4. You've pillaged almost all the precious gems around. How lucky this world is. Oh, great destroyer, show us your ways. Oh, great. Well, you're clearly not even listening. Take this and leave. Okay. Ooh! I need to catch more fish! Pressure upgrade? Yeah, I need to catch more fish. Let's go over to what's her face, Masha, and get our stuff. Actually, maybe we'll do this, then this, then this. That makes more sense. So let's actually go. Actually, Francis, need some glims, buddy boy. Do some fishing. That way we can maybe get a diamond and then we'll have finished that collection. How many more fish do I need? I think three? At 13 out of 16? Oh, I need like three new types of fish. Oh, well there's one. Let's go sell some stuff. Oh. I should just like sell these, I think. I've been hanging on to them for so long. I'm pretty sure they're should just be sold. Maybe I'll keep like one or two, but... Oh, I lied because I accidentally sold them all. Oops. Well, I haven't needed them for anything so far. You would think I would have needed them by now if I really did. Alright. 
What do you got for me? Ooh, a corn dog and a noodle soup. Alright, no, I think we're good for right now, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for the money. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's go here. I think we might be able to get the speed upgrade, which would be nice, because then we could go faster. But that requires going very far in the other direction. So I want to keep on this side for now. And then we can uh, go to the other side when we have more things to do over there. Because right now I feel like I don't really have anything to do over there. Except for upgrade my ship, really. Which I think I need for Gustav. So maybe it would be worth it. We're just going to go to Lodenberg first. fish is a pain in the ass. Wait, please, I need to finish fishing. Alright, at least waits for you to be done fishing. Get so close. <gasps> I've done it. Alright, show me the cutscene. Ape. Oh, that's a zip line. To get over there. I can't do the zip line yet. That's fine. Let's go over there anyway. See what's up. See what's crack a lacking. Oh, that's locked. Oh, madam, you've got bad face. Larry Salzberg knows faces, and yours could be on a poster, on a billboard. You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice, and I hate it. <laughs> but we can fix that in post. We'll get one of the girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. What? You are not an actress? You don't do vaudeville? You've never been with Zeekfield? Nothing those for those French shepherdesses or whatever it's called? That's impossible. You would have been perfect, but... If that's true, you're pure, undiscovered talent. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. It will be called something like Visions of Perfection. A thriller. Murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Something to make the town talk. Talking about my young new star. It will be a box office mash. Can't you see it? I knew I could count on... I knew I could count on just walking the streets. It will be a star in no time, or my name isn't Larry Salzburg. Now we just need to find you a co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new beau. Somewhere warm, it doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture I just thought about in the last five minutes. I do not need to cast this picture with- I do need- I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. The town is, this town is drier than my shirts on a clothesline in the summer. Let's see. Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy is off somewhere magical. We'll need to find someone with gumption. Gravitas. And there's the veteran Catherine who would work. Apparently she's been ta talking, taking in nature recently. Somewhere on Obscure Canopy, I believe. Wait one second, I just had another idea. We could also get the, go the demure naive route. Someone like Ingrid. She could also do justice to our new movie. She just bought a new place in Old Central District. You could go meet her there. Ah, so many possibilities. Casting movies, what a rush. All right. I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on screen. All right. Also locked. Hmm. Ah. Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, oh, what is it? I'm big, <laughs> the big fish man or something like that. He's so loud. It's not just the screaming. It's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. Came with the early bird swimmer. What the fuck? Oh, no. What have I done? Oh. Eat. 
Oh shit. How do I... Huh. This is the same... thing as like... Gwen's event. But... Hmm. See how far I can go. Not far enough. Alright, well... This place is kind of weird because like everything is locked and I don't really know what to do about that. So... Maybe we'll just leave and come back. Oh! What do we got here? Old coin collection? What is that? Interesting. I know I'm gonna finish my video in just like one minute. Can you wait? I hear- I know you wanna eat. I hear you. I've heard you twice now. Well, my cats are dying, and they will die shortly if I don't feed them immediately, because that's how they work. Cats, everybody knows, cats, if you don't feed them at the exact time that they eat every day, they just die. So. Or they seem to think so, at least. I'm gonna do a little bit of chores, though, before we go, because then I won't have to do them in the next video. Alright... Next time I want to go, because I think, I mean, the next place that we need to go is Loneberg. Loneberg. I think you can buy glass there, so I want to do that because that seems pretty important to the progression of our story because we need it for Summer's HVAC system and we also need it, I think, for Alice's thing. I don't remember. Something else requires glass. All right. Trees need watered. Yes, ma'am, I see you. No, I heard you the first time. You don't need to come over here. Hello. Nope, you're still coming over here anyway, huh? All right, well, you're going to have to do the outro now that you came over here. Tell everybody thank you for watching. Oh, thank you. Hopefully you guys can hear her crying, because otherwise then I just sound like a crazy person talking to myself. I mean, I te technically I'm still talking to myself. Hello. You gonna say bye to everybody? Alright, so we're gonna call this video here because my cats are dying, like I said. Are you dying? You are. Alrighty. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've been keeping up with the series, I really appreciate it. I super appreciate all of you. Um, yeah, if you watched all the way to the end, too, thanks. I mean, it feels kind of weird not to watch all the way to the end, but maybe you just really don't like listening to me talk. And if that's the case, then why are you even watching my videos in the first place? Yeah, okay, I think that's enough talking, so I will see you next time. Bye!